Hi, my name is Rajaya, and I'm the peer leader and ambassador of the Creative Youth Development BIPOC Alumni Council through the Mass Cultural Council. And today I'm here with my council members and we're going to be sharing our experiences in CYD and on the council. I'm Wize and my role is alumni researcher. My name is Bendu and I am in the communications role on the alumni council. So a big topic that I definitely wanted to address was representation in CYD and shed light on the need for representation within the staff. Um, so I don't know if you guys had any experience, if you actually had representation on your staff at your CYD orgs, if you didn't, and how that like impacted your time at your orgs. So I've been a part of a few CYD orgs and um, I think there were about two where I felt represented um, on the staff because I think a lot of like CYD orgs like the youth are diverse um, and then right. you start going up and it's not diverse but I was part of City Strings I think that was one of the first CYD orgs I was part of and our instructor was black you know our staff were black and it was all people of color um, who were instructing us and then later on I was part of Hyde Square and the majority of the staff are Latinx identifying people and that was also kind of the first time I was also just in a space with like other queer artists which I think is really important as well. I was part of the performance project uh, first generation um, I remember coming to this country and then going to school mm -hmm. and feeling like I couldn't reach out to some of the adults because I did just didn't look like the people who could understand me. Mm -hmm. And being a part of the performance project, even though uh, the leaders in the group didn't look like me, they created space for people who look like me to be able to have a voice for each other mm -hmm. and just building that relationship at first hand and having that space for for children, younger children and you to just simply connect to one another mm -hmm. allows that relationship to open up. Yeah, I think just again, like creating the space, even if you can't like identify with your youth um, can make all the difference and at least know the community. And I think that's a big disconnect in CYD organizations. Like the staff, they're coming from all over and whatever, they have the qualifications obviously, but it's like, you have to know the community that you're working in. We also like talked about how like CYD organization can create a space so that you're still able to have that um, relationship and I was fortunate to have that with the performance project when I went to college because mm -hmm. I remember one of my worst experience in college was being discriminated and the first person I felt comfortable reaching out to was the performance project um, boss that's what I call her she doesn't like it <laughs> but she's a boss to me and I just I felt that comfortable and then I still put her to all my college applications up to this day and I I'm still involved in other things with the performance project. You have to speak more to um, support and keeping in contact and whatnot. Um, so once I left my like once I graduated out of my org, I became part of Success Boston, um, which is a program that helps you through college. Um, so sometimes we get emails about openings and whatnot from my coach. And I think that's really important because it's hard to find stuff. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, like I'll get these emails. that's like, oh, hey, we're looking or like this person is looking for someone to do this type of work. And I think that's really good too to have like the CYD org you're part of still help you afterwards. That's some of like the burden that I'm trying to take off of alumni across, you know, the CYD field is 
seeing how we can put like formal practices in place for alumni to get support in their career search. So I wanted to see if there was a way, some type of way with the work I'm doing um, and with the support of Mass Cultural Council, if there can be like a formal job board in the CYD field or like just the creative realm with entry level, specifically focusing on entry level. Yeah, in the performance project, we, we were able to get like job through uh, the New England farm worker. Mm -hmm. So even though it wasn't like adulthood job experience, I was still able to put that in my resume and then get a job during college doing the same thing I was doing through that program. So just even opening up to to the world of jobs so to mm -hmm. put that on the resume so that you have that experience, mm -hmm. I think is also important. I was able to work back at my CYD org last spring actually. And I thought that was a really eye-opening experience because I was like helping with um, like program associate stuff. So I was like behind the scenes, like helping kids with like onboarding, like doing paperwork, recruitment and stuff, which is way different than what I was doing before. But I think the fact that I got to have that experience just to go back was really nice. Because I know for a fact there are a lot of kids in or in like their current programs who love to go back. Right. Um, but a lot of time there's not really like that reach to go back. There's yeah. no one reaching out to you mm. to come back. And so I think the fact that I got to do that was really great. And I think there should be more opportunities like that, whether in the form of work studies or internships or whatever. And I think that's usually the consensus. Like now I'm an instructor and I always hear my youth being like, yeah, I want to come back and work here. Mm -hmm. I want to teach film. And it's definitely different than being a student. Like you're not just there like having fun all the time. Like you got to be the adult, but yeah. it's rewarding <laughs> um, just to make that impact like somebody made on you. So I'm glad I got to do a lot more alumni work and working <laughs> alongside you guys. Like it's been really enjoyable. Um, I'm like super proud of the work we've all been doing.